So thanks to Heritage Lottery funding, the History of Parliament Trust has produced a pack of Key Stage 3 history materials about early 20th century Staffordshire parliamentarian Josiah Clement Wedgwood. We've used archival material as a starting point for inquiry, study and to inspire creative response. And in the pack, we introduce several key themes from Wedgwood's life that tie quite nicely to the Key Stage 3 history curriculum. Primarily, we focused on Wedgwood's campaign against appeasement and also his support of refugees trying to flee Nazi-occupied Europe. So Wedgwood was first elected as MP for Newcastle under Lyme in 1906, and he was elected as a Liberal Member of Parliament. A little way along his career in 1919, he defected to the Labour Party and he continued to sit as MP for Newcastle under Lyme until 1942, when he was elevated to the House of Lords until his death in 1943. Wedgwood was a true radical in the House of Commons and he was known for his controversial politics, his outspoken nature and he often featured in the press much to the dismay of his party. He was also a military man, he served in the Boer War and also in the First World War including at Gallipoli. His great-great-grandfather and possibly the most famous Josiah Wedgwood was the founder of the Wedgwood Pottery Dynasty and he was also known for his anti-slavery campaigning. So Wedgwood Jr was a staunch advocate for democracy and he campaigned throughout his life and career for justice for the oppressed. In the 1930s, which is the focus of our educational materials, that manifested itself in speaking out against Nazism and fascism from an early stage of Hitler's rise to power. And as I mentioned, he also campaigned against Neville Chamberlain's policy of appeasement of Hitler. And he fought doggedly right to the end of his career for the improvement of refugee rights and the assistance of the Jews and other minorities attempting to flee Nazi-occupied Europe from persecution. Wedgwood's active and passionate career, plus his Staffordshire roots, act as an excellent starting point to look at this period of history through a local lens. What we've also tried to do with this education pack is to create exercises that encourage students to develop skills looking at primary sources, so analytical and critical thinking skills, which will prepare them for GCSE history. So we designed this study pack specifically to prepare students for history at GCSE level. It focuses on activities based on primary source critique that promote analytical and critical skills, which are fundamental for the practice of history. Dramatic readings can serve to humanise past events and also encourage empathy with historical actors, contextualising them in the culture of their time and also introducing students to the problems of presentism. The materials contain three fully planned workshops for students, plus supplementary resources for teachers to allow for further exploration. Topics in this further exploration section include kinder transport, the Holocaust and the history of Parliament Trust. In the first workshop, students will use a range of archival material including portraits, excerpts from speeches and writing to create a timeline of Wedgwood's life. Then in the second, students will look at how Wedgwood helped refugees to escape from Nazi Germany. And also by taking on characters from a local family at the outbreak of World War II, they will explore how Wedgwood assisted the Jews and also others trying to flee from Nazi-occupied Europe. Finally, in the third workshop, students will explore Wedgwood's arguments for challenging Hitler and also his opposition to Neville Chamberlain's policy of appeasement. These materials are available as a downloadable PDF in the school section of the History of Parliament Trust website. Or for further information or any queries, please contact Sammy Sturgis at the History of Parliament Trust.